Hey everyone, let's quickly dive into the periodic classification of elements. So, why classify elements? Back in the day, scientists had discovered many elements, and it was chaotic. They needed a way to organize them. That's when the idea of classification came in. First attempt, Dobereiner's triads. Dobereiner grouped elements in sets of three with similar properties. Fun fact, the atomic mass of the middle element was nearly the average of the other two. For example, lithium, sodium, and potassium. Next, Newland's law of octet. He said every eighth element had similar properties, like musical notes. But this didn't work well after calcium, so uh, on to the next. Now comes the star, Mendeleev's periodic table. He arranged elements by increasing atomic mass and grouped them by properties. Cool part, he left gaps for undiscovered elements and even predicted their properties. Modern Periodic Table by Henry Moseley. This is what we use today. Elements are arranged by increasing atomic number. It has seven periods, rows, and 18 groups, columns. Group 1, alkali metals, super reactive. Group 18, noble gases, super chill and inert. Key takeaway. The periodic table isn't just a chart, it's a map of the universe's building blocks. So remember, modern table equals atomic number up plus similar properties equals same group. And that's it. Periodic classification in two minutes. Science sorted.